Let's take a look at how you can use the App Insight for IIS feature to monitor your IIS-based applications, such as Microsoft Dynamics, Outlook Web Access, and many others. App Insight for IIS automatically monitors web server performance, as well as websites and application pools running on your IIS server. You can determine which pages are taking the longest to be served and quickly remedy problems by stopping or restarting websites or app pools. Before we go any further, I'd like to point out a few requirements for monitoring your IIS server with App Insight for IIS. Your IIS server needs to be running IIS 7.0 to 8.5 on Windows Server 2008 or 2012 with or without R2 on either. You'll also need to ensure that you have PowerShell 2.0 installed on the IIS server and that you have credentials available with administrator rights for that server. The easiest way to add this feature is through the discovery process. From the Web Console, navigate to Settings. In the Getting Started with Orion section, click on Add a Node. Fill out the information on the Define Node step and then click Next. On the Choose Resources step, check App Insight for IIS. App Insight applications have a unique blue and white icon as shown. Click Next. When presented with the Add Application Monitor section, simply click Next, assuming there are no other applications to monitor on this node. Verify all information entered is accurate, and then click OK Add Node. Once added, navigate to the SAM Summary page and under All Applications, expand App Insight for IIS, expand the tree view of the newly added node, and click on Microsoft IIS. Within the Configure IIS server for Monitoring window, enter your credentials for Monitoring IIS and click Configure Server. At this point, if your App Insight monitoring goes to an unknown status, double-check your prerequisites on the target server. If the prerequisites don't match, it won't be possible for App Insight to monitor the target server. Now that you've configured App Insight for IIS, open the SAM Summary page, and from here, you can see all of your IIS servers and their status. Click into one of your servers to see more information. If there are any issues with the app pools or websites in IIS on the server, you will see them here. You can also see performance details for IIS here so that you can quickly identify if IIS performance issues are due to limited resources on the server. On this page, you can also restart any stopped app pools or any stopped websites. I'd also like to draw your attention to the connection statistics. Keep an eye on your connection trends, and if the server starts getting busier, it might be time to think about load balancing your website to improve performance. You'll also see more information here about the IIS worker processes, which can be extremely useful in troubleshooting your IIS app pools. You'll see statistics for worker process failures, IAP load, CPU and memory usage of the processes, as well as their cache details here.